Yeah, so guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, you know. So this is um, the first story building in Nigeria and also, um, you know, my fellow content creator Maria Mosh Oyakilomi has been making research in Paragri, you know, discovering a lot of things that happened many years back, especially the case of slave, slave trade, which was um, one of the major things that took her there, you know, so she got to discover the first story building that was built uh, by the uh, British colon uh, colonizers, you know, those are colonized Nigeria, you know. So according to the story, this uh, first story building was built in 1845, you know. So I'm going to Badagre now, you will discover that some of this building has collapsed, remaining just one building standing there. So, and this is a, a place known as Slave Cell, you know, where, um, where slaves are being kept waiting for the arrival of slave ship. According to the curator that uh, narrated the whole story, the, the slave ship always uh, spent like three to four months in the sea before, the, before arriving to Badagre to pick up the slaves, you know, and uh, in this cell, there are always, uh, there are normally uh, about 1,500 to 1,600 slaves that are always taken in and taken out of this, out of this uh, slave, uh, out of this house every uh, four to six months, according to the curator. But I believe that watching this video can give you a big insight and a big uh, knowledge, you know, because Nigerian government prevented. Um, uh, the history from being taught in school, you know. So we, the individual, we have we got to go outside there and make inquiry, make research on the things that happens during uh during the slave trade. You know, uh, it seems like the government doesn't want people to be um to know what uh, what happened, or uh, they just want to abolish the um. Uh, the memory, you know, should I say the memory or the history, they just want it to go that way without we, but we keep on trying our best and we keep on bringing content for everyone to know what happened. So guys, just watch this video. This, um, this is the first story building in Nigeria. It was built by the uh, British colonizers in 1845. Just watch this video and don't forget to like the video and subscribe. See you at the end of the video. So, this compound mm. used to be slave cell okay. where they keep the slaves okay. while waiting for the arrival of the slave ship. Okay. The slave ship will spend up to three to four months on the sea before getting to this place. Okay. So, they'll keep the slaves in this uh, compound for three to four months. That's why I said they moved 1,600 slaves into this compound and out of this compound every three to four months. Okay. And while taking them out, there was a road here before. So okay. they crossed them through this lagoon okay. to the other side. Okay. And they walked on that island. It is called Berefu Island. Okay. Before they take them to the point of no return. Okay. And while going by the right, we will see the spirit at the nation well. If you wish to see the point of we no return, to. we will go. Let's everywhere. go. We wish to. Hi guys, so we're going to the first story building. Two story building, right? Yes, that's one story building. One story building in Nigeria. First story building. When was it built? It was built in 1845. Okay. Okay, let's go inside and see. This is first story building in Nigeria, built in 1845. Mm -mm -mm. This is fun. So how we gonna do so you're welcome to the four story building in nigeria if you look at this compound then we have total number of 10 buildings in this compound then other nine buildings have collapsed except this story building that is still standing when we enter inside this building i will show you where those buildings were standing okay if you look at this board this signboard, the road boarding house. There's another one over there, schoolmaster house. There's another one there, the church. And there's one here, the kitchen. So this place that you Mission see house. these signs, mm. buildings were standing there before. Mm -hmm. They've collapsed. So we just put these signs to indicate that the building was standing there before. Let's go inside the building.
You're welcome to the first story building in Nigeria. First story building built by Reverend C. A. Goma the first time. Reverend C. A. Goma first built this building in the year 1843. And this is what this building looks like then. When Reverend C. A. Goma built this building, he built it with planks, only wood. But when Reverend Henry Townsend came in, he rebuilt it with burnt bricks, the way it looks like currently. That was when uh, Reverend Henry Townsend rebuilt this building with burnt bricks and Reverend C. A. Goma with planks. Here we have some of the things they use in constructing the building. This nail, we all know this nail, right? But do we know these nails? No. No. They use these nails on the soft woods. They use this one on the hard woods. Okay. And in this glass, we have some old hinges they use behind the doors. These are the old hinges and sample of the burnt bricks they use in constructing the building. And here is the same iron corrugated sheet I showed you in the barracoon. Mm -hmm. There is another one here. And look at the foundation. You see that they use burnt bricks mm -hmm. and they set the bricks one by mm -hmm. one. In this building, we have to turn about six rooms. Mm -hmm. We visit the first room. We we'll visit another room. And let me quickly show you. This is the geographical architecture map as it is in 1843. This is the story building. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus the story building making 10. But these nine buildings have collapsed, except this one that is still standing. So let's see the next room. In this room, we have a painting of a tree called Agia Tree. Under this tree, Christianity was first proclaimed in Nigeria. When the missionaries came in, where can we preach the gospel to these people? And they discovered that many market women come under this tree to showcase their market. So they decided to preach this gospel under this tree. This tree lasted for 350 years. And after the fall of this tree, the government built this monument in replace of the tree. Okay. Yes. And this monument is no more there. They want to rebuild it. I will show you if you want to see it when we are going. We and okay, you've seen it. No, we want to see it. Okay. And this is the comment by Reverend Henry Townsend, the man who built this building. He said, This house is strong and convenient and will prove very comfortable during the erection. Many persons have come to see it especially of the single roof, it's been the first I have ever seen. Same. The person who built it, that was what he wrote. And here is a Christmas celebrated in Baragri in 1923. You can see these black men. They are the laborers working in this place then. You can see the route 1923, Baragri, Mary X Mass. So let's see the third room. So this third room used to be the room of the first Western teacher. Okay. First teacher in Nigeria. This is him here, Mr. Claudius Phillips. He came in with the early missionaries. And the first set of students, they were enrolled in the school. This man was the one who taught them how to read and how to write. They want our people to accept Christianity. And they discovered that these people don't understand their language. Okay. So they have to teach us how to read and how to write. Mm -hmm. And here is the first primary school. It's at the back of Mobile Filling Station. If you want to see the school, it's still standing. I will show you if you want to see it. We, we want I will to. take you there. And the first set of students that were enrolled in this school were 40 men. Not women, not children. 40 men. And each one of them spent 12, 12 years in school. The youngest among them then was at age of 46. And each one of them spent 12, 12 years in school. I just imagine when my father would come back from school and tell me, ah, our teacher flogged me because I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. So this is the total estimated amount. There is in constructing all the buildings in this compound then, 325 pounds. 
Oh, pounds, sorry. Yes, 325 pounds to construct all the 10 buildings in this compound. Then let's go upstairs and see the room of Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowder. Yeah, I believe you you really gain a lot of knowledge from there. I mean, some premium knowledge from that free video you just watched now because I myself, I can't deny it. I learned all this by just watching this video and um, uh, just to tell you that, uh, uh, to, sh to give you um, a tip of an iceberg of what our forefathers passed through, you know. So during the slave trade, those British colonizers that came in Nigeria, they were, they are those that built this uh, first story building in Nigeria. And uh, according to what you just watched, uh, some of the buildings have just collapsed, you know, while only one of them is just standing there. So we'll just be ending here. More videos will be coming on your way. So just like this video and subscribe and I appreciate uh, each and every one of you that watch this video and especially the owner of this video, Maria Moya Kilome, I appreciate her efforts um, for going to Baragri, you know, to make this research. Um, um, I say may God bless each and every one of us. You know, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thank you.